And here I'm going for another push. This is probably not a good idea. Um, my eight marines and ten marauders, six marines and eight marauders, are not going to be able to stand up against 20 banelings and 16 zerglings. And of course now he can see it thanks to that creep. Down go the banelings. Am I able to take out most of them? Yes, because he micros them back. He had to go down the ramp. And here I'm getting way out of position and boom, down goes all but three. Up come more banelings and I am running for the hills trying to take out. Yes, I do take out quite a few. That's how you micro away from them. Especially since I've got those concussive shells, but then those roaches easily take out what I have left. And here he goes for a counterattack. I do not blame him. He is what what is what has he got in this little army here? Uh, nine banelings, seven roaches, and I, all I've got is this. Two tanks on the way. Oh, they're not gonna have time to siege up. But I am able to take out most of the the banelings before they get inside so here I am able to hold it off thanks to those siege tanks uh, but look at that behind on the army loss count by just 300 but it feels like so much more because those banelings do so much damage that I forget that they die doing it but 17 more banelings on the way where are my starports there they are. Any banshees on the way? Oh, uh, no, I don't have nearly enough gas. And, oh my goodness, completely oversaturated here. Oh, jeez. But that command center just now going up, so they have nowhere to go. And up comes the spire. A really late spire. You know, I like I've said before, if all else fails and you can't get any scouting done, get the missile turrets at about the nine, nine and a half minute mark because this, the, the mutilists may be on their way. And here it's at the 16 minute mark, so very late. I don't see where it is. Um, they always love to hide the spires. Um, where is it? Good lord. He's got so much creep, but... Uh, uh, uh. Is it in there? No. Third hatchery on the way. I do see that. I was staring right at it, wasn't I? Oh my gosh, that's fail. So the spire is coming up. Overlord going down. So he knew that I didn't have the expansion. That is why he went for the third one. So he can completely destroy me in the, in the harvester count. And the income that is just now going back up. Because I do have all these guys on the minerals. Do I have them on gas? That is what I really need. I don't know, I really need the minerals right now, it looks like. Because I'm spending so much of it. Um, but it looks, I, I am back in the game in the mineral count, thanks to those mules. And I should be, well, I'm not back up on uh, the gas yet, because I don't have those two here fully saturated, and I don't think I do for a while because I am so low on ga on uh, minerals right now. Looking at the units tab, it, he still has 18 banelings. Ah, oh, I hate banelings. Um, and along with 21 roaches and now 6 mutas. Uh, to go against my 3 siege tanks, 10 marines, and 11 marauders, he definitely has the advantage here. And the army tab shows it. Look how gas heavy that is. Mine has no gas, even with these siege tanks on the way. What am I getting? Banshees and medevacs. But of course, now that he has the mutas out, and he kept them way too long near those missile turrets, and almost all of them go down. And now he's getting uh, the. Well, he's focusing on the factory. That's going to take him forever. Uh, he should be focusing on the tech lab. That should go down a lot faster. Um, I'm saying just the Marines in, so I am learned. I have learned a little bit. They don't even turn around to even if, so they get shot right in the back. More gas going down for TKS Gamer. I want to know, like, I should probably look him up. Is he, like, because usually you don't see Gamer 
on the guy's name. So I, s I don't know if he's got some kind of website or something. I should look him up after this is done. Missile turrets going up, and I didn't learn my lesson from the previous game, and I just have one guy queuing up five missile turrets outside my base. And that is probably what's costing me all my minerals right now. So, in comes the army, and here comes his massive army, and it's going to catch me off guard. Siege tanks having no chance to siege up, and they take out just about everything. Those banelings will be the death of me. And I'm just getting a raven, a pointless raven right now. Um, then comes the air units, way too late. Just one banshee trying to do what damage it can on this army, but oh, those, those uh, 12 damage. It was only able to get uh, two kills before the roaches just said, oh, screw that, move on. And here, all I have left is the one siege tank. It was a great time for him to move in. These roaches will destroy everything that I have here. And down I go. <laughs> to throwing up a missile turret because I had energy on a raven that I wasn't going to be using. Missile turret's still going up because they do massive damage to roaches if uh, roaches started flying all of a sudden. In come the zerglings, not even bothering to get the banelings. And that should be game. Why am I not GG? There we go. GG, and then I leave. And that is the game. Oh man, uh, banelings. They do massive damage to me when I get this three racks going. I need a new strategy for the zerg players. Uh, two uh, factories going up way too late. Siege tanks not being able... Uh, to get out early, and then of course, uh, sending the army at the same time forced me not to have the siege tanks up. Uh, so I ended up in a bad position, unable to do splash damage on those banelings, which probably would have saved me in the long run, and he is able to finish me off with the roaches. So here was a good loss for me. They are rare. Um, Usually if I lose, it is to uh, a little harassment or something cheesy, but here is a legitimate loss. This guy flat out outplayed me. Um, he used his army more efficiently. He ended up with a huge army compared to mine. Um, I spent more on technology that I never got to use, and of course he completely outproduced me. Even in this late game, I have nothing and look at that, 29 to 73 uh, completely outplayed me, and my hat's off to him. So I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you laughed, hope you learned, hope to see you next time. Bye.